So what I would like to share tonight is about a man, Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus is a wealthy man, but uh, he is known as a sinner in that city. The passage taken for tonight's meditation is from Luke chapter 19, starting from verses 1. He entered Jericho and was passing through, and there was a man named Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was rich. See, in good olden days, Romans used to sell the task of collecting the taxes in a particular area to the highest bidder. And the bidder will not receive any salary for his work. He simply can collect as much as he wants and keeps for himself what is left over after paying the agreed sum to the government of Rome. That's how he was supposed to be the highest bidder in that area and he was collecting taxes in that very court. So when he was entering Passing through Jericho, there was a man named Zacchaeus, he was a chief tax collector, and he was seeking to see who Jesus was. When Zacchaeus came to know that Jesus was coming to that particular town, he was having a burning desire. He wants to know who Jesus was. He must have heard from the people of that town. Maybe he must have seen how Matthews followed him. He must have heard how Jesus was performing miracles. He must have heard how people were healed by Jesus Christ. So when Jesus Christ was coming to his own town, the man called Zacchaeus was having a burning desire to see him. And when he was having the burning desire to know who Jesus was, he was waiting for Lord Jesus to come to that particular area, particular town. But on account of the crowd, he could not because he was a small stature. And as you all know, we see huge crowd wherever Jesus was. The same scenario has been witnessed in that particular town when people came to know that Jesus was coming to that area. Huge gathering was there in Jericho. And this man, a sharp man in stature, he wants to see who Jesus was, but a huge crowd was there. Somehow or other, he was having the burning desire to know about Jesus and to see who Jesus was. So he was just waiting for the opportunity. How I could see Jesus? There was a huge crowd. Everywhere, wherever Jesus was preaching, we see huge crowd. Same thing happened in that town, and huge crowd, and this man being a sharp man, he wanted to see Jesus. He must know who Jesus was. So, what he could do? He just climbed up a sycamore tree and waited for Jesus to come. See, remember, it was very clearly written in the Bible that Zacchaeus was a rich man, is a wealthy man, but now he is sitting on a tree. Like a schoolboy, like a child, he didn't care his wealth, he didn't care his status in the city, but he was having a burning desire to know who Jesus was. That is why he was climbing a tree and waiting for Jesus to come. If you go back and read the passage, there are so many points hidden in this passage. First of all, the burning desire to know who Jesus was. That was the first point I would like to tell you people. He was having a burning desire. Because he was having that desire, he climbed up a tree. And he was waiting for Jesus to come. When Jesus was passing that route, he looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down. I want to stay with you tonight. Jesus gave him an open invitation. Oh, Zacchaeus, come down. I would like to stay with you tonight. That is an open invitation to Zacchaeus. 
When Jesus called him by name, probably he must have been surprised. That is quite natural. If any unknown man calls you by name, definitely we are surprised. Simply, when Jesus called him Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus was surprised because Jesus was calling by his name. Perhaps he didn't know that Jesus can count the hair on his head. He didn't know that. He was surprised when Jesus called him Shakespeare. He said, Come down! I want to stay with you tonight. I want to spend this night with you. That is an invitation. Jesus gave him, extended an invitation to Shakespeare and asking Shakespeare to come down over the tree. Zacchaeus avoided such an invitation, I can say. He was having a burning desire. He was uh, utilizing, rather, avoiding the invitation given by the Lord. When Jesus said, Come down immediately, he came down immediately, accepted the invitation. He didn't think of anything. Immediately, immediately. He came down out of the tree and followed Jesus. What I would like to tell you is, Jesus is extending an invitation to each and every person in this world. But who is availing the invitation given by the Lord? God said, come to me, O heavy and have him your rest. That is an open invitation given to everyone. But nobody is availing the invitation but Sakya avoid the invitation. When Jesus extended the invitation, he avoided. But people do not want to come down out of the tree. People are sitting, still sitting, still sitting on the tree. And they don't want to come down. People are sitting. It can be any tree. I was sitting on different trees when I was young. I was a chain smoker. I used to smoke four packs a day. That was my very favorite tree, I can say. I always used to sit on that tree of smoking and enjoying my youth. I was involved in gambling. I spent many days and nights in gambling. That is one more tree. I never wanted to come down on the trees and enjoy my life. I was involved in drinks because there was no watch over me. My parents were working for government department. I was sitting comfortably on different trees. I never wanted to come down on the tree. But today, what word of God says, come down on the tree. Unless you come down out of the tree, you will never receive the blessings. But people, what we say, chete puchuna. Chete puchuna. Yes. People are sitting on different trees. In this country, a big country, which was built on Christian values, Christian foundation. But now, why this country is facing a lot of problems? People are simply sitting on different trees. There is no prayer in schools, no open preaching in, 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 in any of the places, and no Ten Commandments in any of the offices, you see. This country was built on Christian foundation, but nobody is coming out of the tree. People are sitting simply on different trees. Tree of NBA, now NBA is going on. Tree of NFL. These are all trees and people, tree of homosexuality. And very recently, you must have heard, you must have seen the news. President Obama is saying is for homosexuality and is advising the Catholics to take contraceptives. People are sitting on different trees. They don't want to come out of the trees. But unless you come down out of the tree, there is no blessing I tell you. I came down on many trees and receive the blessings today. I never thought that I carry a Bible and preach the word. I was always thinking of money, money, money. I came down out of the tree and accepted Jesus. I followed him. 
I acted for his invitation. I followed him. I received him. I gave my life to him. I surrendered. I submitted. I gave up and looked at his job and started a ministry. When I left my job in 1999, my payback was 42000 In 1999, had I been in the company, my salary should have been one lakh plus. My plea is drawing 100,000 rupees every month. My junior boss, had I continued, my salary should have been one lakh 10,000 per month. But that's not the criteria. I came down from the tree and received Jesus Christ as a personal savior and started a ministry and God blessed our ministry and we are reaching many people. Our concentration is to go to the village. Nobody is interested to go into the villages and preach the word. Everybody wants to be in the city. But we have four churches in villages where there are no bathrooms. Very recently, on October 4th, 2011, we established a church in Srikakulam district, which is about 60 miles from my city. It's a remote area. There is no church in five villages. We went there, God spoke to us. I have seen the area. I talked to the village head. I took his permission. Then we went, myself, my, my wife and our team, we went there. Simply at a big junction, we spread our bedspreads and started singing. And we wanted to build a church there. We were trying for months and months. Finally, God showed us a, a beautiful spot, which is on the main road. And we bought that site and constructed a beautiful building with all bathrooms and everything. Probably that is the third one to have bathroom in the village. That's how God is blessing the ministry. Right now we have about 55 believers. We, we established that on, on October 4th, 2011. 36 months old church. We have 55. And many people are coming to our church. My dear friends, we should come out of the tree. Let it be any tree. Maybe anger, a tree of anger. A tree of your See, you go back and which, shit, which tree I'm sitting upon? Which tree I'm sitting upon? And I was sitting on different tree. And I came down on the tree and received the blessing. Here, he accepted the invitation and he came down immediately out of the tree and opened his heart and followed him. That is the speciality. He was called as a sinner in the city. When Jesus was entering the house of Jephthah, people started te telling everyone, murmuring, why this man is going to the house of a sinner? Yes, people started talking. When Jesus was entering the house of Jephthah, people started talking. Oh, Jesus is entering the house of a sinner. Yes, sinner. Jephthah was a sinner. But he came down out of the tree and opened his heart and received Jesus Christ. And they were in the house. Jesus wants to come to our house. If you come down out of the tree, any tree, I don't know. I, I'm not pointing out anybody. What is the tree you are sitting upon? You know. I know on which tree I was sitting upon. You must come down to the tree and receive Jesus as your personal savior. When Jesus entered the house of Zacchaeus, what happened? Did Jesus start talking to him? No. When Jesus entered the house of Zacchaeus, the word of God says here, Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor, and if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I will store it for four. He accepted his life. He never covered his sin. He was telling Jesus, Oh Lord, 
I would like to give half of my property to the poor people, and I would like to pay four times for the poor, for the people from whom I have collected. I would like to pay four times. He never covered his sins. He opened up clearly and said to the Lord, but are we accepting the Lord and are we want to tell the Lord that we are sinners? Nobody wants to say that. Everybody wants to cover their sin. Everybody wants to cover his sin. Christianity is not covering. When you accept the Lord, you should kneel down and tell the Lord that you are a sinner. Never cover your sin. I, I express, O oh Lord, I'm such a wretched fellow I am. I spent many days and days and nights in gambling, in drinking and smoking. for the Lord. They want to come. I would like to get you one beautiful example. There is a young man who had finished a post-graduation degree waiting for a job. He didn't get any job. Meanwhile, he finished another post-graduation degree. He didn't get a job. Then he had taken another post-graduation degree. He had a triple post-graduation degree he has got, but he was not having a job. He was waiting and waiting. One fine morning, he got a call from the officer of a Jew and said, My dear young man, we came to know that you are looking for a job. We would like to offer you a job in your Jew. He said, A job in Jew? What kind of a job it will be? What, what I have to do in Jew? So this young man went to that officer and asked him, Yes, sir, this is me, and you sent me a letter, asked me to come and meet you. I'm looking for a job. And the officer of the Jew said, I will give you a good job. I will give you $3,000 per month. Oh, salary is attractive. But the only thing is, you have to sign a bond for two years. He said, OK, salary is attractive, $3,000 per month. And only two years, he said, I can say, I can, I can sign a bond. So he signed the bond. He received the apartment letter per month salary is three thousand dollars. And after receiving the apartment letter in his hand, he asked the officer of the Jew, what kind of job, sir, I have to do? Then he said, It's very simple. One of our bears died in a Jew. So what? If one of your bears died, what I can do? You are supposed to do your job there. What kind of a job, sir? It is very simple. Every day morning you have to come at 9 o'clock in the morning. We will give you a skin of a bear. You have to put on that skin of a bear and jump like a bear right from morning 9 o'clock, evening 4 o'clock. That's a job. He was thinking, ah, oh, I have to put on a skin of a bear and jump from 9 o'clock to 4 o'clock. Anyway, the salary is very attractive. He accepted the job and started going every day. And one month he worked there. Every day he used to come in the morning, 9 o'clock, and putting on a skin of a bear and jumping like a bear. One month he received a check for $3,000. He felt so happy. I got my salary $3,000. Simple job. On July 4th, happens to be Independence Day of this country. So many people, so many school children went to Jew that day. The number was in thousands. This young man, after seeing the huge crowd, many children, many people, he was so excited, jumping and jumping and jumping, and he jumped and finally jumped with their lion's den next to him. Oh, he thought, oh, I'm going to die. This lion is going to break me to pieces. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. He was crying and crying and crying. The lion came to him and said, My dear young man, don't worry. I am also like you. My dear friends, my dear sisters and brothers, people want to cover their sins. They don't want to accept before the Lord. How many people? They're not real. A lion 
mind is not real. A brain is not real. They are just covered. Acting as lions. They are acting as bears. Acting as tigers. Many people in this society. Especially Christian society. People want to cover. They want to come to the Lord and express and say before the Lord, how long we cover our sins, my dear? I'm not pointing out anybody. People are covering. They are not expressing before the Lord. Here, Jackie, he himself opened up and said, Lord, I want to give half of it, my property to the poor. Half of my property to the poor. That's the first point. The second point is, he said, I will repay four times for the poor. For the poor people are from whom I collected four times. He wants to repay. What else is that? Telugu Kepanaja. Marmana Rutaika. Half of the property to the poor people, and he wants to pay four times for the people from whom he collected. And he expresses desire towards poor people. Are we giving to the Lord? Are we giving to the Lord? Immediately, when he received Jesus Christ, when he came down out of the tree, Jack has expressed his desire. He never covered his sin. On the top of it, he wants to help the poor people. He said, half of my problem. Today, I'm telling you, my dear friends, I give to the poor people every time, whether I have money or not. I want to give to the poor people. All our congregations are poor. Sometimes we get very less offerings, but when they come to us, when they are in deep trouble, when they are sick, we used to go and help them. We give them huge money. And God gives it back, I tell you. I experienced many things in my, in my life. I love to give to the Lord. And I gave many times to the people very recently. About a year ago, when I was here in this country, I was watching a TV program in this country. I was seeing the fate of Israelites in Russia. Oh! That program really, it moved my heart, I tell you. Moved my heart. And people were in so desperate condition in Russia, all Jews, Israelites. And he was showing the TV program and I was crying and crying. Immediately, though I didn't have, I took a loan of $200 and sent a check in a day. $200 I sent. Then before my going, it was in December, one of my old pastor friends called me. In fact, he came to India. We had a nice program there in India. Somehow he came back and some letters he received and he stopped supporting me. For four years, he stopped supporting me. He came to India, he worked, he had seen my work, my school, my churches. And all of a sudden, he stopped support for four years. So he called me. I went to his office and I had a nice meeting. He said, Kishore, I'm extremely sorry. I misunderstood you. I came to know about your work. I was so sorry not supporting you. And I want to give you a small gift. And he gave me a gift. $1,000. I just gave $200. God gave me five times $1,000, which I never expected in my life. We bought a keyboard and took it to India. Christ the Lord. How we give it to the poor? Zacchaeus said, I will give half of my property to the poor people. He came. He was called as a sinner in the city. Nobody liked him. But after accepting the Lord, 
time for Jesus entering the house of Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was nobody, but he became somebody in that particular town. He was somebody before receiving Jesus, and after receiving Jesus, he is great. He is great. Everybody started talking about him. Oh, this man, Jesus said, has gone to his house. Jesus has gone to his house. That's how people were talking. He was called a sinner. Very rich, wealthy man, sinner, but now in a different way people started talking. Why? Because he is with Jesus Christ and his personal Savior. Because he came down under the tree. Because he has got a soft cover towards the poor people. Because he gave half of the property to poor people. Because he repaid four times to the people from whom he collected more. The entire life has been changed on the day he received Jesus Christ. Right from the beginning, if you go back and read the passage, there are so many points I would like to tell you. Desire to know. The burning desire to know. I want the opportunity. Came down immediately. Opened his heart. Received him. Followed him. Confessed before him. That is the most important part of his life. He confessed. We, we don't confess. We want to cover. My dear friends, we must confess before the Lord. Then God is going to bless our family and bless our ministry and bless our churches. See, I'm not proud in saying this. I never thought that I carry a Bible and preach the word of God. God is using me. God is using me. I've been to Germany. I preached in English, which was translated to German. I've been to UK. I preached there. I was called to Toronto Baptist Church. God used me there. And God used me in this country, in many states. In 2008, I came here. I got a call from Wyoming. One end. And they said, we want you to come and preach in our church in Wyoming. I went there. I preached the word in a church in Wyoming state. It was so cold. October, very cold there. And after the sermon, four people stood up and said, we want Jesus. We want you to baptize us. Four people, all white people, and they want baptized. Very cold. I said, it is cold. How do you expect me to give baptism? They said, we make some arrangements, sir. And they made some arrangements. We went to a swimming pool. There was hot water. I baptized four white people. I was thinking in my heart, a black man baptizing four white people. Wyoming, which is 16,000 miles from my city. God took me from Vishakapatnam to Wyoming to baptize four people there. I did not have anything in my U.S. bank or anything. But all my depositions are in the heavenly bank. What a joy I had. I never felt that I gave up a good job in my life. God is using me. That's why wherever I go, I say, people call me, I am I'm Mr. Kishore, Brother Kishore, Pastor Kishore, Reverend Kishore, Bishop Kishore, and Dr. Kishore. People give me a call at 11 o'clock in the night and Pastor, we are having this problem, this problem. And I simply prescribe medicines over a phone and they buy. And after four days, thank you, Pastor, for your prescription. I'm doing good. Because I know all the antibiotics and all the drugs I know having worked for Eli Lee. I'm a doctor too. What people say, Bishop, Doctor, Reverend. I never take anything into my heart. I always say to the people, I say, I'm just a tool in the mighty hands of the Lord. That's it. And I have taken these verses from the Bible. Somehow I read English and Telugu. 
I saw Telugu translations is really good. That's why I would like to share that words in Telugu. It is Second Samuel, Second Samuel, seventh chapter, eighteen and nineteen verses. I have taken Telugu Bible and I wrote it down here. Davidurani lawful permission chi Yehova sendinu kuchundi ilagu manu chi se. Na Prabhuwa Yehova yenta gani unnu hechinchuna ko ne anta di varu. నా కుటుంబ వేపాటిని ఎంత హెచ్చుగా చేసిన దంతులు నీ దృష్టికి కొంచమే దావిద్ మహారాజ్ హ్యావింగ్ కమ్ ఫ్రమ్ ఎ షఫర్ స్టేట్ టు ద కింగ్ ఆఫ్ ఇస్రాయేల్ హీ హిమ్సెల్ఫ్ సేస్ దట్ నా ప్రభువాయి హో ఎంతగా నన్ను హెచ్చించాడు హూ ఆర్ మై లార్డ్ హూ ఆర్ మై వాట్ ఇస్ మై ఫ్యామిలీ యో brought me dust for still it is a small thing in your eyes i say the same thing people come to me and, and say oh you are going to united states every year you have already gone nine times this is 10 times 10 times you're going to united states i told them padisar lo unika vendina ta matrana jeevitam gopadaa పది సార్లు అమెరికా వెళ్ళినప్పటికీ నీ కూడా పరలోకం వెళ్ళగలనా లేదా అన్నదే నా ప్రశ్న నీవు అమెరికా వెళ్ళలేకపోయినప్పటికీ నీ కూడా పరలోకంలోకి వెళ్ళగలవు అని ఆలోచన చేసుకో గోయింగ్ టు అమెరికా ఈస్ నాట్ ది స్టాటస్ సింబల్ ఐ టెల్ యూ పీపుల్ థింక్ ఓ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ టు యునైటెడ్ స్టేట్స్ ఎవ్రీ ఇయర్ ఎస్ ఐ కమ్ హియర్ అండ్ ఐ ప్రూవ్ అండ్ ఐ గో బ్యాక్ అండ్ ఎస్టాబ్లిష్ చర్చెస్ ఇన్ ఇండియా ఐ స్టార్ట్ మై ట్రిప్ ఇన్ టూ థౌజండ్ వన్ In 11 years, we have started seven churches. Anybody can come to my house. Very recently in the month of February, one couple came from Milwaukee. They stayed in my house for 18 days. Sunday, we had three worship services. Morning, 10 o'clock to 1 o'clock. Afternoon, 3 o'clock to 5.30. Evening, 6.30 to 9 o'clock, we had three services. And that couple, after they have been attended three services, He sure, is it your routine on Sundays? Yes. We have three services in three different places. That is the routine we have. Sunday is a celebration day for us. I, that's what I said. That's how we are going to people and reaching people and preaching the word. After starting the school in one of our churches, simultaneously the school and the church have grown simultaneously because people started coming to a church when their children are doing good in their studies. Slowly, we have Sunday school then parents started coming and our church is growing by leaps and bounds. We have to meet sometimes the physical needs. That's how our work is going on in India. I come here and stay. Every time I stay, it's a different couple. There are so many miracles God did in my life. This time when I came here, I didn't know where I have to stay. I called my friend. He said, oh, my apartment is full. A, a couple from Ghana came to my house and that couple is staying in, in my church. Then I said, okay, where do you want me to stay then? He said, I try. He went to a pastor of a church where there are so many Ghana people are there. He announced in the church that pastor from Ghana. See, one Indian bishop is coming to Milwaukee. Any couple is there to host him? Then one couple came forward and said, we would like to host Bishop Kishore Daroga. I never seen them before. They never seen me before. I don't know them. They don't know me. Still, I'm staying with them, a couple from Ghana. That is the miracle of God. This is just a, a simple miracle God did in my life. There are so many miracles in, in this country God did to me. And that's how we develop our churches in India. I preach in all churches, in respect of denomination. People ask me, which denomination do you belong to? I said, we have no denomination. Now, what do you preach? I preach crucified and resurrected Christ. That's what we preach in India. Simple. And people allow me to come to churches. I preach in big churches, small churches. 
Some people, pastors say, me, oh, Bishop Fisher, our church is a small church. So what? Uh, if I could save one soul, that is enough for me. Other things are, that's, that's not my focus, that's not my criteria, you know. Reach people, preach the word, good news, make them happy. That's what I've been doing all these years. And I'm really thankful for the opportunity I've given. I talked to Fadigal and my cousin, Raji Mutiala, very good family. Mutiala Theophilus is very famous in Andhra Pradesh. My mom used to tell me about Mutiala Theophilus. My cousin comes from the family. My wife comes from Golapan family. I come from a gold merchant family. Daroga is a Hindi word. Pastor is spelled there. Daroga is Hindi word. Daroga is what? Police officer. In Hindi, the rocket is police officer. My, my forefathers were police officers and they were gold merchants. That's all immaterial for me. What I would like to focus upon is Jesus Christ. When I was working for Eli Lilly, I was selling medicines. With medicines, you have advantages and disadvantages. I gave up that job. Still, I am a salesman. Even today, I am selling. I am selling the most precious product in the world. I am selling Jesus. With my product, there are no disadvantages. All advantages. I am a salesman. I sell Jesus Christ to people wherever I go. Different parts. I am so glad that I am here in this state. This is one more state, New Jersey. This is the tenth state. Please continue to pray for us. We would like to reach many places. You all know there are many unreached people in India, especially in Lagos. We would like to focus upon those areas and we pray. Many people ask me, Pastor, do you have any theology? I said, no. When I came second time, many questions. Do you have any theology? No. Third time they asked me, do you have any theology? I said, I don't have theology. But I have some doors, something else. What is that? I said, neology. I pray on knees. Niyazi is my degree, I said. Even when people started asking and asking, finally I decided to go. I had been to seminary. I was supposed to do it in three years. I took five and a half years to finish my master's in Divinity. Just to impress upon. I don't want to do that. But people continuously asking me, so I did my master's in Divinity. Church planting is my speciality. So my dear friends, go back home, read the passage, and though you, you, you spend about 40 minutes or so, even though you don't remember the whole sermon, but if you remember, come down out of the pool. That is enough for me. You will remember for many years. In Milwaukee, I preach in different churches, and, and when people come and meet me in grocery stores and pastor, I remember your sermon, you were preaching in a church. I don't know which church it is. And people say, I remember. That day you preached, no Jesus, no fish. I still remember that sermon. I'm quite happy. So you remember, come down out of the tree. What tree you are sitting upon. You think about yourself. Go home. And what tree you are sitting upon. Come down out of the tree. And the beauty lies in the chapter 8. Zacchaeus stood up, said to the Lord, Behold, Lord, if half of my goods I give to the poor, and if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I restore it for poor. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house. That is the most valuable gift he received from the Lord. God said to him, Jesus said to him, today salvation has come to this house. I asked people, how many people are there in that house? Can anyone tell? How many people are there in that house? The word of God says, this house has received. Today salvation has come to this house. How many people are there in that house? 20, 30, 40? Can anyone tell? 
If you ask me that question, I say I don't know. But if you think I think salvation has come to this house, maybe his wife, Jesus said, This house. He never said, Salvation has come to you. He said, Salvation has come to this house. Maybe his exes, maybe his wife, maybe his children, maybe his uncles, maybe his friends, maybe his, I don't know. But I feel maybe some people in that house, God said, Salvation has come to this house. When I believe, Jesus Christ, when me and my mom, we were telling my own people, salvation has come to our house. Our names are all Hindu names. Sudhakar, Venkata Ramana, Kishore, Vijaya Kumari, Veena Kumari, Bhumaneshwari. These are all Telugu names. But our partners are all Christian. But the amazing grace of the Lord, we all marry Christian partners. And our children are Christian names. My wife is Grace. My son is Daniel, my daughter is Rachel, but I'm Kishore. I never changed my name. I'm extremely happy in serving the most holy God. And I'm really excited to be with you this night. And I thank each and everyone in this congregation, especially Padigal and the pastors and the families, for having invited me tonight to share the word. And I have a CD here. Class of Calvary, we made it. It, it. it is made in a professional way, not just at home. We went to Chennai and we did it in a in a big studio, all female wise. My wife, my wife is a gifted singer. I am a bad singer. So there are all Telugu songs in it, and these are all songs we composed the music, we tuning, composing lyrics, everything is ours. This is, this is our property. We never borrowed from anyone. We compose the songs. We compose the music. Everything is ours. My son-in-law is uh, the uh, one of the music directors and my music director, my wife, they sang these songs, Cross of Calvary, all the other songs. I have it here. We can help our ministry. And you can see our ministry pictures, how we are reaching, how, how we are doing our ministry among children in India. So I'm glad I thank you once again for having given me this opportunity. Please continue to pray. I have to be here in this country till October 29th, 30th. I'm going back on October 30th, almost six months. I'm, I'm staying here and I'm going to different states in this country. This is my first trip. New York, New Jersey, so I have a lot of trips to go. Please continue to pray. And immediately after going to India, I'm, I'm going to Qatar, which is out of my mind. I never thought that I go to Gulf country to preach the word. I got already an invitation to preach in a church in Qatar, Doha, in November. So we, they have already meetings and they're calling me. These are things. God is doing in my life. In spite of all things, I say this word, this verse, and finish. David Lord, Lord, and Pravesh, and Yehovah, and Kanan, and Kuchin, and Elan, and Manu, and Jason, and Prabhu, and Yehovah, and Kagan, and Manu, and Kuchin, 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 and K